Hey everyone, John here, and welcome back to the Toy Box. So I don't know about you guys, but I have been super busy over the past couple of weeks, and I am so happy that I get to have a trading card opening with you guys today. So, today we have the Pokemon trading card game Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze Elite Trainer Box. This thing has been burning a hole on my desk for a few days, so I'm ready to open it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. Here's the player's guide. Have all the cards in there. Let's take a look at this box. Here's the copy of the game rules. We have Zacian and Samacenta. There we go. We have the standard counters. Those are the poison. I think that other one was burn. We have dice. This time they're blue and reddish pink. Here are the here are the dividers. We have Eternatus this time. At least I think it's pronounced Eternatus. It sounds like Eternal to me, so kind of pronounced it like that. We have the pack of energy cards. We have the card backs. I usually like just collecting the cards so I don't really use them for competitive play or anything like that. I like to use these in my binders. So those are pretty nice. And lastly, we have the eight packs. Let me go ahead and separate them out. Let's see. We have two of the Gigantamax Charizard. We have two Gigantamax Eternatus. We have two... Ooh, I am actually drawing a blank on their names. That's embarrassing. And I'm drawing a blank on these two, too. I'm sure we'll find them if we get the cards inside the set. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the box right here for our backdrop. And we are ready to open up our cards. So what should we start with first? Let's start with Charizard. So pack number one. So we have first Dartrix. That's a nice card. Next we have Lunatone. Remember this is Liza's Pokemon in the third generation. Next we have Simipore. Simipore definitely looks like they're relaxing. Next, we have a Dark Energy. Ooh, 
There we go. Sent to Scorch. So I think that was the... There we go. I remember the name now. Sent to Scorch, a VMAX card. Let's take a look at it. So there's a fire type, 320 HP. And the move is G-Max Centriferno. 40 plus damage. This attack does 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. If you did any damage with this attack, you may attach a fire energy card from the discard pile to this Pokemon. The VMAX rule. When your Pokemon VMAX is knocked out, your opponent takes three prize cards. So big cards. So this is pretty good. This is a rare card. Full art in the very first pack. I like the texture. The colors look very vibrant. That's pretty cool. Let's take one of these stands. There you go. We'll put Scorch VMAX right here. All right, next we have Grimer. This is regular Grimer, not Alolan Grimer. We have next, we have a Reverse Hollow Meltan. I still haven't gotten my Melmetal from Pokemon Go. I stopped doing the imports into Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, so I haven't really caught any more Meltans to get those candies. I need to get back to that. We have Paris. We have Mareep. I got the Sitting Cutie for this one not too long ago. Really enjoy it. Next we have Ducklet. It actually looks like a cute Ducklet. It's following all his friends. And lastly we have Clink. There you go. In the toolbox. All the other tools. So that's pack number one. We already got lucky so far. So I'm really happy about that. Let's go for pack number two. <clears throat> Let's see what we get. Oh, and before I forget, here is the code card for Darkness Ablaze, the pack number one. Now, remember that these cards, these codes are all one time use. So once one person uses it, that will be it. Um, so hopefully you get something good. So first we have Piers. Actually now one of my more favorite characters in the game now. Not necessarily before. Definitely now. So next we have Gothorita. My brother uses Gothorita these days. He used the Gothorita in the 5th generation. Not sure about the 6th and 7th. Next we have Clang, the evolved form of Clink. We have a Dark Energy. We have, oh, we have another, looks like another rare card, a full art card. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing, let's take a look at it. We choose up to two of your Pokemon in play. For each of these Pokemon, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it onto your Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. You can't use this card during your first turn or on a Pokemon that was put into play this turn. So that's pretty valuable. And uh, you see Yamper up in the corner and we have the Pokemon Breeder characters from Sword and Shield. So that's a pretty nice card. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and get the stand over here. Here we go. So next we have, it's a Shinotic, the evolved form of Morlow, and it's a reverse hollow. So next we have Squovet. It's one of the first Pokemon you run into in Pokemon Sword and Shield. We have Diglett, classic ground type. We have Tauros. I don't know if, uh, for those of you who remember all the way back to the original Red and Blue, 
how hard was it to catch Taros in the Safari Zone? I remember I was trying for a long time. I had to get on the bike and then go all the way to that one section. And it was still, Taros wouldn't, just wouldn't get caught. We have Pan Sage. This is the, the first of the tea monkeys that I got in the fifth generation. Because uh, I chose Tepig. And then lastly, we have Wishy Washy. That is pack number two. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and go to the next one. So let's go ahead and open the Eternatus, um, the Eternatus packs now. So pack number three. Oh, and I forgot again. Here is the code for pack number two: Darkness Ablaze. Here we go. And you know what? I'm just going to do the code card first so I don't forget. So here's the code card for pack number three. For five seconds only. So card number one, rare fossil. This looks like there's a lot of rare fossils in here. Looks like these are the mix and match fossils that we have in uh, generation eight. We have Fletchender. This was one of my favorites in 6th generation. Uh, I haven't really used Talonflame in uh, any of the generations after, though. We have, I always have trouble pronouncing, Zoelius. This is the pseudo-legendary from Unova. We have a Grass-type energy. We have a holographic Golisopod. That's Guzma's. Guzma's Pokemon. We have the Yellhorn, shaped like a Y. It's a uh, reverse hollow. And it's funny, just notice the ability. Both active Pokemon are now confused because this is a really a confusing thing. We have Starly, one of my favorites from. Gen 4, and that's the region bird for the Sinnoh region. We have Purloin. And you have no idea how much it freaked me out when I first saw Purloin standing. Especially in Pokemon Go. I think I legitimately freaked out when I saw it. We have Marini. Marini is about to go eat that Corsola over there. We have Meltan. Again, another reminder that I need to go get those Meltan candies. Get my Mel Metal. Next, I have Carablast. So that's pack number three. Let's go to pack number four. So here is the code card for pack number four. Let's see. We have billowing smoke. So something else from Team Yell that's meant to confuse people. We have Simi Sage. So we have completed the Pan Sage line. I wonder if we'll get all the tea monkeys in this one. Here we have Clang again. We have a grass type energy. Ooh, we have another full art card. We're getting really lucky in this pack, guys. So we have Salamence VMAX. 320 HP. Looks like it's a it's a normal type. I would have thought it was gonna be a dragon. But let's see. Sonic Double. Uh, this attack does 40 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for benched. And Max Wings, 240. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Max Wings. So this is a really strong attack you can only use every other turn. So it's another rare card, VMAX Ruin. It's knocked out three prize cards. 
this is pretty cool. I like this card a lot. It looks like Salem Ants is in an action pose. I like the colors. I like the light, how the light shines off it, and has the texture. This is a really sweet card. I am really liking this box. Here we go. Flareon, take care of that one. There we go. All right. Let's get back to it. Next, we have the Rose Tower. It's a reverse hollow. Next, we have Grimer. We have Larvitar. I think out of all the pseudo legendaries, this is one of my favorite. We have Shelmet. Says no one is gonna steal my helmet, right? We have Nicket. Remember, I saw these in the very beginning of Sword and Shield, but I never really caught on with with Nicket. And we have Gothita in the spotlight. All right, so that was pack number four. So now we have packs number five and six with the Centiscorch packs, now that I remember the name. Grimmsnarl. That's the name. I just remembered it. See, there are so many Pokemon now, I'm beginning to have trouble remembering their names. I never thought that that would actually happen. But again, I guess that's why we have a Pokedex. Okay, so first we have the code card for pack number five. Let's see, we have Pupitar, the evolved form of Larvitar right here. We have Staravia, again, the regional bird of Sinnoh. It's one of my more favorite regional birds. We have Lunatone. I think we're going to get a Soul Rock to go with them. Next, we have a Fighting Type Energy. We have Vanilux. I know my brother liked the, the Vanilish line. Or the, yeah. Couldn't really tell if it was an ice cream cone or, or the icicle. Ah, we have Toxtricity. This is a reverse hollow. Look at pretty cool. Look at this pose. Looks like he's about to punch somebody. Or do a Rasengan or something. We have Sinistee. Looking where to spill so where to spill on. There's Toxel. This Pokemon always looks like they've got like uh, swollen glands or something. It always looks sick to me. We have Bunnelby. Remember Bunnelby from the 6th generation. I don't know if I really like the art on this one too much. We have Wimpod. Wimpod's looking out to sea. Trying to see who he's going to run away from next. And lastly, we have Cub Chew, Polar Bear Pokemon. Well, actually, the Chill Pokemon, but I think of them as the Polar Bear Pokemon. There you go, that's pack number five. So, pack number six, another Scent to Scorch. Here's the code card for pack number six. We have Ariados, one of the bugs from the Johto region. We have Flaffy. Everybody loves Flaffy. We have Furret, another second generation. 
We have a water energy. We have wiggly tough. We have wig. Oh, there's the Dene, uh, the the Pika of the sixth generation, the Reverse Hollow, eating a mushroom. Next, we have Diglett. I believe Diglett is using uh, Detect, or Diglett is posing for the statue in the background. Next, we have Jigglypuff. We got Jig. So we have. Well, we still need Igglybuff. We don't have the whole line yet, but we have Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. Jig and Wig. We have Rowlet, or as popcorn as my wife calls him. We have Cub Chew again. And we have Aron. Okay, so we are down to two more packs. He's the Grim Snarl packs. First of all, here is the code card for pack number seven. First, we have Clang. We have Toxapex. We have the whole Marini line now. Corsola eating Marini line. Oh, we have powerful normal energy. Not just normal energy, it is powerful. So it does 20. So attacks of the normal Pokemon this card is attached to do 20 more damage. Oh, pretty good. We have a steel type energy. Oh, I thought that was going to be the energy card of the pack. Oh, we have another full art card. This is Butterfree. This is a V Pokemon. So let's take a look. It's a grass type. 190. Um, dizzying Poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned. And Blasting Wind. 130. Um, the V rule. When your Pokemon V is knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards. Oh man, this is super cool. I have never been this lucky with a, with a trainer box before. I am telling you guys, I like this. I like this a lot. There's Butterfree. Just even them out here. Whoops, almost dropped Scent to Scorch. All right, next we have a Reverse Hollow... Purloin. We have Torchic. This one looks like a model. Uh, the clay model. Like the, the ones I really like. That is pretty cool. There's Rookie D. This is one of the first Pokemon that I use. And this is a regional bird for Galar. I like using the regional birds for some reason. I guess I like them. I like the, the evolutions. And it feels like you're growing along with them. Now we have Teddy Ursa. And we have Panpour. And lastly, we have Shelmet. So there we go. That was pack number seven. We have one more left. One more Grim Snarl left. Let's see what we got. First of all, here is the code card for Darkness of Blaze, Sword and Shield. First, we have Vanilish. Next, we have Simi Sage. Next, we have Kabu. Yeah, one of my more favorite gym leaders of the of Sword and Shield. We have an electric energy. We have Excelior. Excelior. 
looking for his helmet. We have Shelmet. Uh, reverse hollow. We have Rookie D. Whoops, almost dropped that. We have Dunsparce. I always forget about Dunsparce. And I like the, the ability name. The Final Dig. We have Jigglypuff. So we have another one of Jig. We have Dino. And the last one is we have Skitty. There we go. There's Skitty. So there we go. That is all eight packs for the Darkness Ablaze Pokemon Trading Card Game Expansion Elite Trainers Box. So I am super happy with the results we got from this poll. Let's take a look at these cards again. We have first we got Centiscorch VMAX. I think that was out of pack one. And then we got Pokemon Breeders Nurturing out of pack two. And then I think it was pack four where we got uh, the VMAX Salamence. That is pretty awesome. And then lastly, I think it was pack seven where we got V Butterfree. But that is so cool. I don't think I've gotten this many full art cards out of a trainer box before. So had really great luck with this one. And lastly, one other thing to show you guys is we have the, the code for the entire box. So whoever gets this code, I uh, hope you guys get something good from it when you play the trading card game online. And that is it for the Pokemon Sword and Shield Darkness of Blaze trainer box. So obviously, I'm very happy with the, with the cards I drew. Um, what do you guys think of this expansion? Um, if you guys do invest in some of these cards and you get something good, let me know in the comments section below. I am always interested to see what you guys get. And also be sure to check out the rest of the channel. Squirtle here, Dr. Squirtle, just put out a little public service announcement about the dangers of dealing with Nidoran. And he worked really hard on it, so... Uh, I would strongly advise that you go watch that. Well, anyways, thank you so much for, for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, rate, subscribe, and don't stop playing.